Nancy Ndaitwa was responding to a question from PDM President McHenry Venani, who expressed concern over the alleged silence of African governments on the ongoing conflicts in Gaza. Why don't we have a strong lobbying voice on condemning the carnage happening in Gaza? Why is the African voice on the periphery, whereas we ourselves come from the very same struggles of subjugation, oppression, and so forth, mm -hmm. but all our governments are just issuing condemnation, condemnation statements like Venani, while you guys are having state powers, lobbying ability, but our voices on the African continent is very minimal. Nancy Ndaitwa cited ongoing discussions at the UN Security Council, saying resolutions were being drafted by countries such as Russia and Brazil. You are saying you did not hear a voice from me, but uh, I don't know because uh, immediately it happened. I have issued statement that uh, you say that uh, we are just condemning. You don't see my statement. And it was already also followed by the one from the presidency. Web, yes, they are there, they are there, they are there. What we are waiting now is when the matter, because after the Security Council, it will go to the General Assembly. And that is where you have now the majority of member states who are going to speak and uh, agree on a resolution. And that is where we are going to reaffirm what we have already said that Israel should really stop. She stressed that the situation in Gaza requires collective efforts. Our experience also tells us in a situation like this, you cannot only leave it to the governments. I know our own uh, situation. It was the civil societies, it was the churches, it was the trade unions, it was progressive political parties. But in our continent, in our country, everything has been allowed to the government. We are doing what we can do, but we also want the Namibians, the, 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 the progressive, to stand up and make that condemnation. Support what your government is doing. Serafia Nadunya, NBC News, Ventuk.